Three, two, one. Welcome back to ESBR Boxing. I'm delighted to be joined by Hayden and Greg here. We are, of course, reacting to the way the way ends that we've just seen there between Anthony Joshua and Jermaine Franklin ahead of their fight tomorrow night at the O2 Arena. Joshua's first fight um, for a non-moral title since December 2015. He's fighting Jermaine Franklin, who we know on UK shores as well from fighting Dylan White last time out, lost a narrow majority decision. Chaps, we've just we've just looked at the weigh-ins there. We've just watched the weigh-ins. Um, obviously, both both Joshua and Franklin, it's fair to say, looking in good shape. Joshua's always in good shape. We know that. That wasn't a surprise. But interesting to see that Franklin, um, the shape Franklin came in in as well. Um, first, Hayden, I'll go to you. Thanks for thanks for jump, jumping on the call today. Um, your initial thoughts on if there's a, on the way in, and if there is, you know, can you read much into anything and and how and how you think um, both fighters looked on the scales? I think first of all, both fighters looked very composed. There wasn't there wasn't anything said really. A stern face off. Um, obviously, Jermaine Franklin was twenty three pounds heavier than than he was in his last fight against Dillian White. I'm not sure how much we can read into that. I think he has shredded a lot. Like Eddie, Eddie jo- joked about um, in the in the media this week that he's uh, got a six pack. So that was funny to see in the uh, the way in today. Um, but obviously AJ is a bit heavier than we kind of expected him to be. I mean, he's over ten pounds heavier than he was in the Usyk fight, the second Usyk fight. Um, so yeah, he's fought around fought at about around two hundred and forty pounds in his career. So yeah, whether it's something Derek James is what wants him to be a lot heavier and put put the power to De- Jermaine Franklin on Saturday, um, we'll just have to see. But yeah, I think both fighters looked very composed, didn't give much away. So yeah, um over to back to you, mate. Yeah, interesting there, Hayden. I, I agree with what you're saying. Um, Greg, I'll go to you next. Obviously, as Hayden touched on there, Franklin was weighed in at 234 pounds this time around, which is 23 pounds lighter than the Dylan White fight last November. Anthony Joshua weighed in at 255 pounds for this fight, which is um, 10.5 pounds heavier than the Usyk rematch and 15 pounds heavier than the first fight he had with Usyk. Do you read anything in the ad? Does that make you think that a certain game plans for both fighters or anything like that? Yeah, thanks, Paul. Um, yeah, both fighters look good. Um, I was really surprised. Franklin looked really good. Um, it was crazy to see guys when they lose that amount of weight and they start to see little abs coming through and things. So, yeah, it's it's one of those ones. I'm not 100% sure of this, Paul, but I think that might be AJ's career highest because was it not Takam before that? And For Takam, he was 254 and he was 255 today. So, you know what? No disrespect to Franklin, but he's not the fastest fighter in the world. Good fighter, good all-rounder, but he's not someone who's going to be able to ping and run like a rabbit. So AJ coming in at that weight, I think that he's looking to to bully Franklin, and I think, to be honest with you, he does. Um, quickly touch pointing on the face-off. I always find Anthony Joshua really confusing at face-offs. He starts off by looking as though he's seen a ghost, and then he grows into it. And you can see this hate and anger coming on his face and you're like, but Franklin looked so self-assured as well. So, guys, I think we're in for a good one tomorrow night. I think this is two guys that really do believe they can win. Yeah, it's really interesting. I, for one, for what it's worth, think that, I mean, I would say this about Greg, you know, I would say this about Anthony Joshua every time I thought it. I think he did look very good. I think he looked relaxed at the way in. You know, I've, I've, yeah. I've, I've, I've liked what I've seen from Joshua in the build-up. Um, to this fight all week, he's kind of looked cool, calm, collected. I think that you know the the addition of Derek James, the fact that he's been training out there in America, almost old school in Texas. I hope all of those factors play in to his hand on Saturday night. But yeah, I'm also I was surprised to see. I knew Franklin lost a bit of bit of timber, as Eddie had said, and he'd said on a few interviews as well. But I really, you actually genuinely could see the outline of Alves coming through. So fair play to him. He's clearly really put put the effort in um for this fight. Hayden, I'll go to you next and just ask you the question. Obviously, after, I don't know what your prediction for the fight was. We'll do that at the end. But just tell me, after seeing the weigh-ins and both fighters and what shape they're in, has your opinion changed on how you think the fight will go tomorrow night? I don't think it's changed. I'm going to put it out there. I think AJ is going to win. Even in his uh, interview after the weigh-in today, I, I heard him say, 
he feels like he let a lot of people down with the two fights against Usyk. And he kind of, he, I think he wants to put this right. And even with his training, his, Tony Bell, you said when he went over to Dallas, that he's been throwing 200 punches around. He's been do, uh, been training like all the old school methods, like chopping wood. And I think he's just going to go in there and put in a performance that I think, I think British boxing needs. I think they need the old AJ back when he's putting on a show, knocking people out. Um, yeah, I don't think my opinion's changed after the weigh-in, but I, th I don't think Franklin's going to be a pushover by by any means. So I think, yeah, I think we're in for a good fight. Yeah, fingers crossed. Wait, the, the fight lives up to the hype. Greg, what about yourself? Obviously, you and I did the, the Joshua Betton show, and you said that you could see it happening in later points, but you could also see it happening early. Have you got any more of a confident prediction now of how you think the fight might go after after seeing both men weigh in? Yeah, so two things there. Um, Hayden, when he said the old Joshua, he needs to come back. I've I've been saying that for like his last three fights, so I totally agree. When Hayden had finished and you started speaking, the first thing I thought of was the the betting tip show that we'd done. Um, well, I just I get more of a feeling that it's going to be Joshua in the second half of the fight now. I think that looking at the condition that Franklin is in, can see him maybe trying to manoeuvre and you know make it difficult for AJ, but I think the power will eventually catch up with them. So I'm a bit more confident now that I think Anthony Joshua will get him out in the second half of the fight. Yeah, very interesting. There's you saying you're more confident about the second half of the fight. I'm actually more confident in probably in the first half of the fight now, to be honest with you. I, I had said around around four to six um, is, is what I thought it was going to was gonna be for Joshua. But now I'm like I'm more confident in that. So, yeah, um, not really much more you can break down, lads. But Hayden, I'll go back to you. Or I know you said there that you think Joshua is going to win. How do you think he's going to do it? What is your final prediction for tomorrow night's Joshua versus Franklin fight? Um, I think it's going to be a stoppage in round 7 to 12. Uh, I think AJ is going to stop him in round 7 to 12. Um, Interesting. Think... Greg, you agree? I'm, I'm identical, same as Hayden. I think Joshua 7 to 12. I think you might have to come through a few demons, a few tricky moments in the first half of the fight. And then I think the weight and the power will just catch up with Franklin. They'll eventually get stopped. Very interesting. Well, it's two against one. Then I'll go for I'll go first half <laughs> of the fight just to make it interesting. Um, but yeah, lads, appreciate the, appreciate your time jumping on for me with me here to do the weigh-in reactions for Anthony Joshua, Jermaine Franklin. Be sure to check out the rest of the content on the on the channel. We've got loads and loads of different videos all about Joshua, as we said, Joshua betting tips. We've got written previews out there as well, and plenty of other content coming your way. So. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Greg, Hayden, appreciate you jumping on and all the best. Thanks for having us, Paul. Cheers, Paul.